What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the Priscilla Monroe Show. Today, I am going to try and transform into this Kylie Jenner picture right here. So to do this makeup look, I'm thinking that I'm going to go in with this Soft Glam palette by Anastasia. It has a lot of um, soft colors. I have already prepped my eyes with the MAC concealer. I can use anything really, but I always just use whatever I have sitting around. So the first color I'm going to do is this burnt orange color. And I'm gonna just go right in with this big old fluffy brush from Morphe. It's Y15. Where is it? Uh, this one. I'm just gonna put this like all over my lid. Up up here. So it looks like it also goes a bit down into the lid here. this color called temp tempura tempura <laughs> shrimp tempura I like sushi guys I'm gonna go right here under the brow just a little bit all right so next up there seems to be just a little bit of defining in the outer crease so I'm gonna go with this color called rustic and I'm just going to keep using the same brush because it's a very loose um, eyeshadow that she has. So I'm not going to put too much, just like a little, enough to define this little outer. Now I'm going to here. Alright, next up there's like a little bit of shimmer on her inner corner. So I'm going to go in with this color glistening here. And I'm just going to grab a smaller fluffy brush, or this one. This is a Morphe 506. Dust this just right here on the inside. Maybe I should zoom in. It's looking very simple. This is a easily like an everyday look that's going on. Excuse my um. My two pimples that decided to join the party today. Apparently, I haven't passed puberty yet. I'm gonna take either a smudge brush or an angle brush, like something small. I think I'll start off with this angle brush, actually. So there's a color in here called Noir, and it's just this black one. And uh, what is this brush? I don't know what this brush is, but you know, it's angle like for eyebrows. So I'm going to grab this black, um, tap off the extra because you don't want like too much. And then she did, they did the line, like her eyeliner with the eyeshadow. So that's what we're going to do to keep it soft. Also, it doesn't go all the way in to the front, it looks like. They kind of just tight lined it here. Okay guys, so now that I have this very simple eyeshadow on, I need to put on some caterpillars. I use these very natural um, Ardell Wispies, which are always a good affordable choice. I got like no sleep last night, so I'm having a lot of bags. Um, obviously not drinking enough water, and the pimples. But you know, only Jesus was perfect. Really, you should put mascara before um, you put the eyelashes, but I'm gonna skip that because I just don't wanna be crunchy. So, in this picture, it looks like um, Kylie's skin is pretty much very one tone is there's not too much highlight under the eyes so I'm gonna probably use two different concealers um, 
Normally I put my foundation before my concealer always, but because I don't want it to look too bright, I'm gonna go in with this concealer first. So this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition, and I I think I only use this like one time, so hopefully it doesn't backfire on me. But I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the little blemishes, and then we'll go ahead and cover it up with a bit of foundation. Okay, now I'm gonna dampen my uh, beauty blender. I have a Morphe one. I don't really know what it's called, this sponge thing. And I just like to spray it with a water bottle or you can go wet it in your sink if you are feeling less lazy than me. And just get it there, blend it out. with this Japanese um, foundation. I guess it's just number eight. Don't need too much and then uh, you know go to town. So you're just gonna continue like punching yourself in the face with this blender until you look even. So who doesn't want to get beat up when you're doing your makeup? I think the term beat your face comes from the beauty blender. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is contour. It's a very gray Tone. Um, so I think the best for me that I have is gonna be this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I don't know if that's how you say it. Uh, medium deep bronzer. This more P Y four brush and go right into my cheeks. So you're gonna suck in your face like a Kardashian. Do the thing. Get rid of that double chin that you got from those Krispy Kremes. my no loose contour so I'm going to get um I'm gonna use an eyeshadow brush because I want this to be very defined go into the nose here a very obvious line and that's okay because we're gonna blend that out. You don't want to go too dark with your nose contour, guys. It's a dead giveaway. Sometimes I just bring it like into the eyeshadow a bit because it's more believable or whatever. All right, so then Y12 by Morphe is like this flat. Uh, I don't know what this was intended for, but I always use it for my nose. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend out those lines on the sides. Mac Peach Twist blush, uh, like a little peachy kind of, I suppose. With this Morphe Y8. Lightly dust it all over my cheek Okay. Also, I almost forgot. 
forgot to set my under eyes, which would be terrible. So I'm just gonna make sure there's no creases in there. And then I'm gonna go in with um, Makeup Revolution Banana Baking Powder. You know what's just annoying about this? Because you always need like some type of lid or something to pour this powder in. So I have this um, hair spun loose powder that I use sometimes, and I just always take the lid and just put a little bit inside. That way, I have like space for my beauty blender. So um, that's what I do. Tap off the little extra bits and just go straight in there. that I'm going to use the burnt orange color that I used um, for the top so that was this one here okay and then back in with the color glistening which was that inner corner shimmer that we did and I'm just going to place that right here Alright, so I have this NYX Wonder Pencil and it is the shade Medium. It's just a nude little liner. I'm just going to pull it down a little bit with my pinky and put this nude right up in there. Instant wake up, guys. Nude liner is like the coffee of makeup. with a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes and this is Lancome Monsieur Big and it's very small <laughs> now we're gonna delete all of these um, <laughs> delete these cake crumbs from my face okay so, big fluffy brush, Morphe Y1, and I'm just lightly going to um, dust these bits off. So now it's time to highlight. So I'm going to go in with a setting spray. This is NYX Dewy Finish, which I love because it's cheap and it looks good. And, um, you know, I'm not going to the Met Gala or anything. Once you spray, it kind of like really sets everything in and gets rid of like the dusty look and feeling. So while it's still damp, I'm going to go in with this Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. Well, you know, <laughs> I really don't know how to pronounce this stuff, guys. Um, Sechelas, Sechelas, if anyone knows what, how to say this, uh, let your girl know. Because I don't, obviously. Okay. The nose is very important. So, to do that, I'm just going to get um, any old little eyeshadow brush. This is actually a Morphe crease brush. It's Y22. But, uh, whatever. 
And then you're gonna go straight down the middle. I don't like to go all the way down. I like to kind of do the bridge and then the tip. So in this picture, Kylie has um, a very pretty bright red lip going on. So I'm gonna use this um, Lick Cosmetics Red that I have, and it's called the uh, Matte Crush Lip Paint in the color Crush. Oh wait, no, matte. <laughs> Matte lip paint in the color brush. Hey okay guys, so for the hair, um, use my straightener. It's um, Ion One Stroke Straightener, and I have it set to 400. Like where my eyebrows are, I'm gonna just part that all the way back two half of this and split it and bring it like this I'm gonna grab my straightener and curl it inwards and just hold that hair go slow when you get to about here you're gonna hold the other part and just pull it through like that so you don't want to disturb the curl until it cools down otherwise it will just come right out So all of these bottom curls are going in towards my face. I'm not rolling them backwards. Now I'm gonna take a comb or a clip or whatever and make my part. So she has a side part here, about like right here. I'm just gonna part that and bring it over. So all of this, yeah, all this now is going to get curled backwards. So starting with the back, just take a small section. Take the curler from the top. Same thing. Wrap it, pull it, and then pull this nice and slow. Okay, last section here. Now this time, I'm gonna brush my hair so it's all um, like facing backwards, you know? Then, I'm gonna grab this very lightly. Twist it this way so it's like horizontal. And then just let go. And that's gonna give me that little back swish swishy swoopy thing <laughs> mm -hmm. now I'm left with like this small section here so for this every section that I take out it's gonna go on an angle like to the, the center. Like, I don't want to take it straight sections back. I'm going to take it this way, like on a diagonal. Wrap it around, then turn it this way. Okay, let's see. Alright, so there's only two more sections left. So for this one, you're gonna go first, take it from the top, turn it in towards your face, and then stop there. Now you're gonna go backwards. Just gonna roll this forward, let it cool down, 
from where you left off, where this little like dent is. And then we're gonna go back and like to this side. Oh, I'm gonna lift that all up together and clip it there. That way I don't lose that volume. I'm just gonna leave it for a minute. Thank you all for being here. Have a blessed day and a blessed life, and I'll see you next time.